I'm Kelsey Gerber. I work with Clark Construction and I'm a project engineer. I'm Jack Moyer and I'm the, the um, project executive uh, on the project um, and senior associate at the firm of Shalom Baranis Associates here in Georgetown. My name is Jason Seufer. I'm a staff architect at Shalom Baranis Associates Architects and I'm one of four project architects on the City Center DC project. We started using uh, Review, a, a team of 10 of us um, started just immediately as uh, this site broke ground in April of 2011. We're primarily using Bluebeam on the project uh, for submittals and RFIs. It looked like it was something that was worthwhile for us to get involved in and begin to see what we can do to use it on this project. We're able to take use review to take snapshots of our uh, construction documents um, to point out certain um, facts or uh, supporting arguments for the response to the RFIs. Um, we use blue beams that way, like for example here, we're questioning where we should locate the outlet above our kitchen cabinets. And so we just simply bubble the area that we're talking about, um, write the RFI number here, and what's really cool about Bluebeam is we can hyperlink it back to our Autodesk Constructware system that we use. Just in the grand scheme of, of any type of electronic uh, construction administrative process is that the days of, of you know, triplicate hand marking the, the red lines, you know, that's over. But the benefits in doing it in review was the ease in which anyone who came on board uh, to the project was able to pick it up. I thought we, you know, the first 10 of us would need to have a, a couple training sessions or um, you know, lessons learned, which that is helpful, but we certainly didn't need um, massive training the way we do when we, you know, launch a new BIM software or anything like that. One of my uh, uh, favorite tools um, in review is the fact that uh, you can paste to exact the same coordinates. So if I'm uh, transferring just a little bit of, you know, a copy here and then I can, but I need to paste it in the exact same spot on a different sheet, um, the, the control shift V is, is one of my favorite tools. As it is such a large site, in order to make sure that we inspect visually for conformance every square inch of a 250,000 square foot floor plate, that's not all going to be done in one day. So even just as simple as not having to carry around a big billboard with a printed plan and a highlighter and say, okay, I colored in this area and I did that. Well, I'm able to do that with a very easy rectangle tool and set my highlighting and set my standard or my default settings. We, we all really grew to know the tools that were available to us with, uh, within review to mark up and really um, do everything we needed to do to uh, make clarifications and um, mark up the submittals and return them if they weren't just the way we needed them. The benefits in doing it in review was the ease in which anyone who came on board uh, to the project was able to pick it up. Using the review, uh, it, was, it was tremendous. We have now adapted it pretty much firm-wide for or at least for that, that part of, um, of uh, Blue Meeting for most of our construction phase projects. One of the other things that, you know, we're, we're changing documents and we're up against the wire and, and deadline time and I've got to bust out of the office and pick up my son, but the owner needs this before I can leave. Um, I, I specifically recall being able to make a markup on one page knowing that it needed to be on all pages and uh, right-clicking that markup and saying apply to all pages and boom it's in that exact same spot on all the pages throughout the document it was, it's brilliant it was absolutely a time saving